All right, guys, what is up? Cannot wait for this film break film breakdown that I'm about to do. Uh, this is on Dylan Radunes, the offensive tackle out of North Dakota State. One of my favorite players in this class. I do have my dog right next to me, so excuse me uh, if he makes any weird noises. Uh, but, you know, I cannot wait to get started with this. I think Dylan Radunes, you know, is like the dream s scenario for the Chargers if they do pass on an offensive tackle at 13. Dylan Radunes is the ideal situation for me at pick number 47. I think, you know, he's kind of one of the last few offensive tackles that fits the physical profile, which Brandon Staley has been describing over the last few weeks. Um, you know, I think he is the prototypical left tackle. I think a lot of people have kind of penciled him in as a guard. I don't think he has that kind of power to be able to play guard. And so I think for me, he is <laughs> – he is a left tackle. Excuse me. My dog's kind of wanting attention right now. Um, but I think Dylan Redunes is a fantastic player. And I think, you know, there are three things that for me kind of separate him in terms of potentially being a first round pick. And I think we could see him there. You know, if a team like the Kansas City Chiefs is there kind of staring at a board where there aren't very many defensive starters and they need a left tackle, which they do. Uh, so we could see Dylan Redunes come off the board. And I think that is probably the earliest, although I would certainly take him sooner. Um, but there are three things that I think he brings to the table. First and foremost is his level of awareness is outstanding. I think he's one of the smartest football players that I have graded and certainly the smartest offensive tackle, in my opinion. Uh, he brings a great level of awareness, picks up stunts at a, at a truly elite level and passes off things, communicates very well. And we'll get into a couple of examples of that. Second is that he brings a very, very high motor to the table. Um, some people have talked about, you know, he, he only weighs 305 or 306 or whatever he, he, he uh, weighed in as pro day. I'm not too worried about that. I think he'll add, a, you know, 10, 15 pounds in the NFL. But his motor and his effort really kind of overcompensates for that. And then third, I think he is one of the smoothest, most technically sound pass blockers in this class. And I know what people are going to say, oh, he played in North Dakota State. He didn't play any high-level competition. I don't really care. The technique will translate. It might take him a little bit to kind of adjust to the speed and power of NFL pass rushers, but the technique is there. He just needs – he just will need to carry it over and apply it into the NFL. So that being said, let's get into this. I'm doing it on StreamYard, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so here is my film study on Dylan Redunes. Let me share the right one. Okay, so here he is at the left tackle position. Um, you know, one of the things that I talked about is his high level awareness, and that's what we're going to see right here. Getting a two for one block on this play. I know one of the players ends up getting the sack. I don't really care about that. Just kind of going back here, this play is absurd. Now, if Trey Lance had a little more experience, a little more feel for the pocket. You know, he would he has a lane right here to the left because of Dylan Radunes that he could step up into. Like, you know, that's a running lane, right? If we, you know, we've seen him use his legs previously in a, in a lot of plays, but because Lance doesn't have that kind of veteran feel yet, he ends up taking a sack. But look at this play from Dylan Radunes. He gets a two for one block coming off of the edge. Like, that just speaks to his level of awareness, his level of. Uh, quick tick, quick twitch reaction ability. And I think that's a very underrated aspect of his game. All right, we'll get to the next one here in a second. Another example where he picks up a stunt at a very high level. This time he's going to come, he's going to pick one up off of the edge, off of a blitz. Excuse my dog right there. So he's going to make sure and he's going to check his teammate and make sure his teammate knows, hey, I'm here if you need it. I got your back if you need it. And then he's going to pick up this blitzer off of the edge. Does a fantastic job. Gives Trey Lance, you know, just enough time to be able to make sure that he has a sound throwing lane off of the edge. And so, you know, you look at this release point from Trey Lance as well. So high up. His moon ball is, is crazy. So great play by, Trey, by Dylan Redunes here off of the edge. Next one here, uh, this kind of speaks to his ability as a pass blocker. You know, we're kind of moving on to the next trait that I was talking about. I think he is one of the most technically sound and refined pass blockers in this class. And it starts with his urgency 
in which he kick sets. I know a lot of people kind of throw around that word urgency when they're talking about an offensive lineman. To me, that means how quick do they explode out of their stance? How urgent are they in getting to their spot? Now, that can mean a few different things, right? Like, you know, if you were a Patreon last year, I talked about Jedrick Wills. Jedrick Wills was a master at the deep set, and he got there so quick. He was so urgent out of his stance that he got there so quickly. Dylan Radunes loves to quick set. He loves to get his hands on opposing rushers quickly, and he loves to kind of – he calls it an angle set, right, where he's kind of more attacking the edge rusher instead of taking a deep set like Jedrick Wills did. So different styles, kind of just a different approach. Anything, you know, you anytime you can mix it up and do different things, that works. And so I think Rayshon Slater, like I've talked about, is the most diverse pass blocker. And he's one of the few guys who can quick set, he can deep set, he can angle set at all at a high level. I think Dylan Radoon's at a quick set and angle set is very, very proficient. Um, he definitely needs to work on his quick set. Didn't have to do that a whole lot um at north dakota state that is where it's kind of the level of competition comes in you know when you're playing at a lower level of competition you can afford to quick set an angle set more frequently than deep set so that is where that comes into play but i think dylan redunes is very explosive out of his stance you see how quickly he jumps out there and that's the angle set right it's not a deep set where he's going to take essentially you know like a 60 75 degree angle this is more of like a 30 degree angle where he's kind of just jumping out to his spot. And so you'll see players in the league do this quite a bit against a wide nine situation, um, which is obviously very, very common in the league these days. But he gets out there quickly, gets his hand on an edge rusher, and then he's able to handle these counters that this edge rusher is going to bring to the table. So you see him kind of handle those counters, stay attached to the shoulders, great base, great. Uh, anchored down that he's able to do against this edge rusher who, who was a pretty powerful player. I know it's from Central Arkansas in this game, um, but he gave the other offensive lineman on North Dakota State a little bit of problems on the other side. So um, love this play by Dylan Redunes. Here he's going to be able to handle, I think this is the spin move. Yep. So this is what, I, what I'm talking about by his ability to handle counters, right? He's got very good hand placement that he's going to bring to the table here. And this is a little bit more of a traditional deep set. It's kind of, it's not an angle set technically. And it's not a full deep set, um, but he does get to his point and you'll see the, the edge rusher is trying to swipe his arms down. Right. And Dylan Redunes is like, nah, that's not happening. So Dylan Redunes, very high level deep set there handles the counter handles the spin move. And he, this was all of his film is like this, right? Like these edge rushers, at the FCS level, just did not have any chance. And this was a theme at the Senior Bowl, too. He went down there and was the best player in practice, regardless of position. He was voted as the best player in the Senior Bowl, so, or at least in the practice anyway. So something to keep an eye on there for sure. All right, next one here, again, the left tackle. This is the quick set position, and this is a fantastic way for a young offensive tackle to make sure he doesn't get beat inside. You know, a lot of offensive tackles will kind of set and wait and react. And that's what I like about Dylan Redunes is that he goes and attacks, whether that's angle setting to the outside or he'll take this jab inside, make sure that the edge rusher doesn't have a window there. And then he's able to read and react to the edge rusher going outside. I think this is a really high level play from Dylan Redunes, right? You see that how quick and explosive he is out of his stance. And then he's able to really chop these arms down and make sure that he maintains leverage against this edge rusher right here. So you see, this is the quick set, right? So he makes sure that he takes away the inside, pops up out of his stance, gets that explosion, gets his hands on the edge rusher as soon as possible, gives him a nice little punch to make the edge rusher go outside. And then he handled, he chops those arms down, right? Handles that leverage. This is a great play by Dylan Redunes here. Hopefully this is uh, working just as good as they did through Zoom. Um, but I think this is, I, I think this is a lot of fun. I think this, this works cooler for me. Uh, <laughs> I think the format of it is, is really nice. Um, all right, let's get to this next play from Redunes right here. 
Here he is on the left side, again, going against number 33 from, I think this is North Dakota. But this is what I'm talking about, right, with the way that he steps inside. Boom. Like, look at that. That makes that makes it nearly impossible for an edge rusher to come back to the inside. And so this edge rusher, edge rusher has no choice. He has to go outside, and then Dylan Redunes is able to really kind of shut that down. And, again, you see him chop the arms down. His hand placement is outstanding. And then he's able to win and essentially run his guy right behind Trey Lance. Like that guy had no chance to get a sack or pressure at all. All right. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about here really is his effort and his ability to finish blocks. Look at the big man rumble down the field and boom. You know, I think I shared this tweet when I first watched this game or shared this video when I first watched this game, you know, a few weeks ago. I think Dylan Radunes, like you can really tell a lot about a player and how hard they work and how they react to plays going down the field. And this is also kind of where you see his athleticism, his his former basketball body, being able to chase, run down plays and make a block at a high level to free up his runner for a few more yards. Like this, this guy, if he had, if this uh, receiver had cut back, this defensive end right here or linebacker, yeah, it's a defensive end. You know, he has a chance at making this play, but Dylan Radoon says, nope, get out of here. I'm letting my guy get another 10 yards. And that's just who he is. Something that constantly showed up on tape. You know, I think Notre Dame has this, you know, great tradition of having offensive linemen, you know, run down after their guys. And it's just an effort play. It shows their character. And I think Dylan Radoon's is that way as well. So definitely wanted to point that out here. All right, so here it's going to be a little tougher to see right here, but he is the left tackle um, right here, and he's going to do a washdown block. He's going to set the edge on the front side of the play and make sure that this defensive tackle is not coming across his face. So he's going to wash him down. I know you can't really see my hand right here. He's going to wash him down <laughs> and make sure that he takes this defensive tackle out of the way. So this is him right here. I know it's a little tough to see, um, so I apologize for that, but you love to see this kind of effort and, and get this guy, root him out of his position, make sure that your running back has the proper cutback lane. And, you know, being able to set the edge this way is so important, especially for a, a team that's running, you know, outside zones, inside zones. And you just love to see that finish, right? You know, that's the thing that everybody talks about with smaller school players. You want to see them dominate games physically. And, you know, that's kind of the difference of what happened with Trey Pipkins and what's happening with uh, Dylan Redunes. Granted, FCS is a little bit better than Division Three, but you'd love to see offensive linemen understand leverage, wash players down, get them out of the way, get them out of the play, and then put them in the dirt. you just love to see it. All right, next one here. I forgot how long that play lasted. All right, next one here. This is a different block. Same kind of uh, plan, though, right? Like he's going to go inside, wash his player down to the other side, and then finish him off into the dirt. So, again, different play, same kind of thing. You know, it takes him a little bit to get going. You know, this is kind of where I can see, you know, some people trying to say, like, he's not strong enough at the point of attack, which is why I personally don't think he should play guard, just my personal opinion. Um, but once he does get this going and, and once he wins that battle of leverage, you know, he gets guys in the dirt quite often. And I think that's something that's definitely underrated about his game. All right. So this is, this is a play again, very similar action. He's going to do a wash down block, but he roots players out. Like people who have talked about him as not a very powerful blocker, he can still get the job done in these regards. And he's able to get a bigger, you know, I don't want to say stronger because I don't know this player very well, but you know, you watch him fire off the ball right here. Let's see right here. And he's able to take this defensive end and he's able to get in four or five yards down the field the other way. You know, it might be, not, might not be vertically down the field, but he washes him down horizontally fairly easily. And I think this is a great play from him here. And look at where this guy ends up. He's on the other side of the hash, right? So he's left tackle ends up where the right tackle is. I think he's a strong player. I, I just think it comes in different ways. You know, he's not a Tevin Jenkins kind of strong that's going to block a player 15 yards out of bounds, but he is a strong player at the point of attack 
it just comes in a different way. So I, I wanted to point that out with these few plays here. Um, but it, it's the effort, it's the energy, it's the motor, whatever you want to call it. It's always going for Dylan Redunes, and it's something that I really, really appreciate of him. All right, last play. Actually, I think that was it. Yeah, that was the last play. So um, that's my breakdown on Dylan Merdunes, a player that I'm really excited about. And I think, again, you know, in a situation where the Chargers take a corner at 13, maybe a receiver, I don't know, whatever they want to do. <laughs> um, but Dylan Merdunes is kind of that last truly elite tackle prospect, in my opinion. I think Brady Christensen is fine. I think he he's a very adequate prospect. But I think that Dylan Redunes is that, that last player that I'm like, okay, I can see this guy truly becoming a franchise left tackle. So someone that I'm really excited about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Uh, leave me a comment. I know it, it, it's pretty close to the draft cycle already. Um, I wanted to get this one out there. But please let me know if there's anyone that you'd like me to break down uh, at the last minute. Uh, check out my draft profile coming out on Dylan Redunes later on LEFB. And thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure and hit that subscribe button as well. We've got so much content coming your way. And subscribing to our channel really does help us a lot. All right. Thanks, guys.